People enjoy the waterfront here in Stewart, and even though the blue-green algae is no longer dominating the headlines, well, people are still urging lawmakers to do something about it. Last year, you really helped move that dial. Members of the legislative delegation sat and listened inside Stewart City Hall Thursday morning as members of the public discussed their concerns. They want to make sure lawmakers know where they stand on community issues before the legislative session begins in March. And the algae crisis continues to be a hot topic. With the passage of Amendment 1, the leg with shorthand the Legacy Amendment, there is a, a pile of money that can be allocated in a variety of different ways. We, of course, want to see it used to clean up the lagoon, correct the problems with Lake Okeechobee and the river. Senator Joe Negron admits he understands there is strong support in the community to protect the environment and to have safe water. We can't have a repetition of what we had happen in the summer of 2016. And so I think it's important that we take concrete steps to do what we can to avoid or at, at a minimum to mitigate what happened last uh, last year. He vows to continue to find a solution. What needs to happen for something to finally change? Well, we have to do what we do in every political situation, which is, um, you know, state the issue, build support for the issue, find funding for the issue, and, and we are, we're on the right track. The senator says he will focus on this issue in the upcoming session, and he feels confident he'll be able to make his case in Tallahassee. In Stewart, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.